All right, welcome back. As you can see, I now have my outpost set up where those two big iron nodes that I found that aren't listed on the map. It's not complete. I'm still going to do the hunter uh, sh shop, but uh, they've already pulled over 100 iron from that and haven't even made a dent. And they haven't even touched the other one yet. This is great. Anyway, that's not the video. The video today is I want to talk about beggars. So... I know, people are going to be like, well, why are you hiring beggars? Uh, first off, what some people don't realize is the more NPC villagers you hire, the more expensive the next one gets, and it more and more, and it snowballs into the point that at some point, even beggars are costing a thousand renown. I ended up getting four people to set this up, plus two beggars. I had over 9,000 uh, renown, I have 1,200 now. So there, it, it's chewing through it. But I want to make a point about beggars. That they are good for one thing and one thing only. And that is, as a guard, because... So, <clears throat> you see this negative 30% XP gain? That doesn't really matter. It kind of does if you want to get their skills up. And then pro productivity, negative 50%. Doesn't matter at all. Because I have him set to where he does nothing. Like, I have him set to where he doesn't touch anything anywhere ever. He is only ever a guardsman. The whole purpose of being a guard, and I'll show you here, is this. No, you can't see it very well because the... There you go. So, raid threat. Even your outposts will get raided. Now, you're going to say, well, but he's got really terrible attributes. It only goes up to two. He starts at zero. I'm going to make a point about that as well. Your first character, everybody gets him, he's all the same, is Lubemeyer. Everybody gets Lubemeyer to start with. Because that you have to, you have to progress it. Lubemeyer starts, while he can go higher, he starts with one strength, no agility, one, 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 one. So, Lubemeyer is terrible at first, unless you start training him stuff. He's leveled up because I've gone through seven raids now, and he fights, and of course, in the beginning, he was dying like crazy because his stats suck. This guy, as a town guard, having a beggar as a town guard, A, he's cheaper to hire, but B, it doesn't really matter what his stats are because what he's doing is reducing the frequency between raid threats. Now, some people don't care. Some people want their uh, threats to be more. They want to do all kinds of raids because you get stuff for them. I don't really want that for my outpost. I want my outpost to get raided as few times as humanly possible because I don't want to have to deal with this. I just want this to be autonomous and do everything it can by itself. And that's the purpose, in my opinion, of getting a beggar. <laughs> I, I do have a tip, though. Get a beggar that's close. I made the mistake, and I got a beggar from Blackridge Pool at first. This dummy ran all the way over here, all the way over here, and then got stuck right here because he couldn't find this bridge, I guess. I had to go up to Harrington Farnsworth. I had to walk him all the way down through here. Tons of bandits along here just to be able to get him to the camp. So if you're going to do an outpost with a beggar, do even your... Um, followers do it do it close and I just give him hand-me-downs so my main town everybody is sitting in um, gambesons so they all had adventurers garb and I just tossed it on him and he still I haven't even put the gloves on him the old gloves that I had for everybody or the old shoes and quite frankly, this is all Lubemeyer started out with. And I got through the first two raids, I think, without Lubemeyer dying back when I had like two villagers or something. It'll be fine, and it reduces the frequency between raids. All right, thanks for watching.